Hello, my name is Ilya Zlobin. I'm a world-renowned expert and dealer of authentic ancient Greek, Roman, Biblical, Byzantine coins and artifacts. I run a website called TrustedCoins.com. There I have over 6,800 items at the time of the making of this film for sale. Every item I sell comes complete with a beautiful professionally done certificate of authenticity, of course a lifetime guarantee of authenticity, and my signature, I've identified over 28,000 authentic ancient coins and artifacts over the years. Every coin I sell comes in a beautiful protective flip. This is a silver Roman coin of Emperor uh, Augustus, by the way, that protects it for future generations to come from wear and tear, yet you could look at it with a miniaturized, miniaturized description that matches the number on the certificate, a unique number. The description is professionally done according to the best, highest numismatic standards, many times citing a major numismatic reference or collection. In the back you get the historical context of the item that you have purchased. So whether you are a brand new collector to the field, you have such an abundance and a wealth of information, plus such a wonderful guarantee. Plus, this makes a great gift for yourself and others, and most people just don't know this stuff exists. So, I believe this to be the greatest investment out there. So, if you want to get numismatic coins, trustedcoins.com is the place to go. Now, to begin, let me tell you about who I'm going to be reading about. This is Livia. Livia was a very famous personage in Roman history. She was the mother of Emperor Tiberius and had a very big influence on them. I have coins with her in my store, so search Livia in my store for that. Livia Drusilla. After her formal adoption into the Julian family in AD 14, also known as Julia Augusta, was a Roman empress and as the third wife of the Emperor Augustus, as well as his advisor. She was the mother of Emperor Tiberius, paternal grandmother of Emperor Claudius, paternal great-grandmother of Emperor Caligula, and maternal great-great-grandmother of the Emperor Nero. In 43 BC, her father married her to Tiberius Claudius Nero, her cousin of patrician status, who was fighting with him on the side of Julius Caesar's assassins against Octavian. Her father committed suicide in the Battle of Philippi, which I have coins from celebrated by Augustus for having won, along with Cassius and Brutus. But her husband continued fighting against Octavian, now on behalf of Mark Antony and his brother. Her first child, the future Emperor Tiberius, was born in 42 BC. In 40 BC, the family was forced to flee Italy in order to avoid Octavian's prescriptions and joined with Sextus Pompeius in Sicily, later moving on to Greece. A general amnesty was announced and Livia returned to Rome, where she was personally introduced to Octavian in 39 BC. At this time, Livia already had a son, the future Emperor Tiberius, and was pregnant with a second, Nero Claudius Drusus, also known as Drusus the Elder. Livia played a vital role in the formation of her children. Legend said that Octavian fell immediately in love with her, despite the fact that he was that she was still married to Scribonia, that he was still married to Scribonia. Octavian divorced Scribonia in 39 BC, and the very day that she gave birth to his daughter Julia the Elder. Seemingly uh, around the time when Livia was six months pregnant, Tiberius Claudius Nero was persuaded or forced by Octavian to divorce Livia. On 14th of January, the, the child was born. Octavian and Livia married on January 17th, waiving the traditional waiting period. Livia and Octavian rem remained uh, married for the next 51 years despite the fact that they had no children apart from a single miscarriage. She also enjoyed the status of the privileged counselor to her husband, petitioning him on the behalf of others and influencing his policies, an unusual role for a Roman wife in cultural dominated by pater familias. 
Despite their wealth and power, Augustus' family continued to live modestly in their house on the Palatine Hill. Livia would set the pattern for the noble Roman Matrona. She wore neither excessive jewelry nor pretentious costumes. She took care of the household and her husband. In 35 BC, Octavian gave Livia the unprecedented honor of ruling her own finances and dedicated a public statue to her. She had her own circle of clients and pushed many protégés into political offices, including the grandfathers of the later emperors Galba and Otho. With Augustus being the father of only one daughter, Livia revealed herself to be an ambitious mother and soon started to push her own sons, Tiberius and Nero Claudius Drusus, into power. Drusus was a trusted general and married Augustus' favorite niece, Antonia Minor, and had three children, and the popular general, general Germanicus, Livilla, and Emperor Claudius. Tiberius married Augustus' daughter, Julia the Al Elder, in 11 BC, and was ultimately uh, adopted by